Hey guys, it's Mitch here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm just going to do a quick video update of what's blooming today. The first orchid I'm looking at, this is my Cymbidium Charlie Brown, which is just coming into full bloom. This is a really large Cymbidium. It's about as tall as me, but it's on this little wooden pillar right now. I'll zoom out so you can see the size of the whole plant. It's huge. Beautiful, tall bloom spike that grows straight up, which I really like. Some of them kind of uh, slope over and have more of a cascading bloom that you have to stake up. But this one is very easy and the bloom uh, spike shot straight up. So I just, um, you can see it, the bamboo pole that it's uh, kind of tied to to hold it up straight, but yeah, it's beautiful. I love the color, love that reddy lip against that kind of muddy, weird brown color. I guess, yeah, that's hence the name, Charlie Brown. Really, really pretty. When it's in full bloom, I'm hoping it will stay in bloom for about six to eight weeks. I just have it here in my kind of dining area where it gets a lot of bright and direct light. And it has another bloom spike coming up here. So hopefully it'll stay in bloom for about six to eight weeks. These are pretty easy to grow. I just uh, put it outside on my patio where it gets some morning sun and I leave it out in the fall until it gets really cold and almost frosty. And I see that the flower spikes have um, started to form and then it's been forming the flowers over the course of the winter. Out over here on the table, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen some of these posted on my Instagram feed. <clears throat> uh, this first one here, this is my Ludizia die collar, and this is a, one of the jewel orchids. I've grown some jewel orchids, and this one is the easiest one to grow and bloom in my experience. I got this as a cutting maybe two years ago so you can see how fast it grew it was just like one little plant um really nice leaves even when it's not in flower this one uh, doesn't need uh a lot of well like the other ones i've grown were kind of fussy but uh this one i really forget about it i let it dry out and it uh, just sits in my it's like an eastern window where it gets a lot of sun in the morning really happy about this you know this started blooming right after Christmas and uh, I thought because the blooms looked very delicate that it would only last a couple of weeks but um, we're at the end of February so I would say these have been blooming for close to two months so I'm really happy about that that's a nice surprise but uh, I think they're getting ready to fade because if you look closely, you can see the little, there's like this little blackness setting in on that flower tip. And uh, when the blooms first opened, they were just like a clear yellow, like you can see here. Anyway, next one here, this is my, this is a division of um, my Paphiopodellum Sorcerer's Stone. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, I have a picture of the mother plant which bloomed earlier in the fall and it had two blooms, but this one bloomed after. I forgot to stick up the bloom. So it's kind of sloped over, but you can see it has a beautiful round shape and that nice white dorsal sepal petal, whatever it's called. <clears throat> I love this orchid because it uh, blooms regularly for me every winter. So it doesn't need any real special conditions to bloom, which is easy, which is nice because some Paphiopodellums are kind of tricky to get to bloom. So yeah, that's Paphiopodellum Sorcerer's Stone. And the last orchid here, this is my Epilalio Catalea Green Bird Brilliant. This is a really nice orchid that I picked up last spring and it bloomed for me. I'd seen this at shows before and I really liked the color, but what I didn't like was that every time I saw it at an orchid show, the blooms just weren't set up very nicely. And anyway, I took a chance on it and I've 
actually, now that it's blooming, you can see it holds its blooms really nicely, probably because it's bloomed under my lights. And the ones I saw in shows were probably like moved when the buds were forming, so the blooms didn't really display nicely, but kind of reminds me of a daffodil. It opens a nice bright, kind of almost limey green color and fades to this nice yellowy color. It has a really sweet scent when the sun is shining on it in the morning and it is very easy to bloom and grow. I didn't really do anything special to grow this plant. Anyway, those are the orchids blooming for me right now. Just wanted to get them all into a video while they're blooming. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to comment down below. See you next time.